Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download radiometrically terrain corrected ALOS Pulsar DEM products with a grid resolution of 12.5 meters for free. As you can see over here, this is one of the DEMs which I have downloaded for free. So let's go ahead and see how we can download this data. First you need to go to this website. search.asf.alaska.edu Now you can see that we are presented with a web portal so that we can actually uh, zoom into the area of our interest. So for this tutorial I'm going to actually show you how to download the DEM for an area uh, of this island of Borneo. So if I zoom into my area of interest, Kota Kinabalu is actually one of the, one of the major cities uh, of the state of Sabah. So I'm going to download the digital elevation model with a grid resolution of 12.5 meters for this particular area. So now what I can do is first you make sure that you select the correct data set. So out of this, just select the ALOS Pulsar data set. And now using your cursor, just highlight the location of your interest for which that you would like to download the data. For example, you can highlight your area of interest using a rectangle like this. After you do that, you can simply go here and click search. Now you will see that you are presented with all the available uh, different types of products. Over here you can you actually get a list. Over here you can see the number of uh, the total number of scenes that you have and when you click in each of these options you can see actually this uh, red color rectangle also moves. So for example if I click on the first option you can see that this file is corresponding to this particular option and if I click on the second option you can see that the red, red color rectangle actually moves. So similarly you can just scroll down if you would like to check the other types of uh, available data options as well and when you click on each of these options just make sure that under the available files you have this high resolution terrain corrected option because this is the particular option that we that we would want to download now over here for this for this selected scene you can see the corresponding uh, information over here and as you can see that this has been captured in year to year 2008 so you can even click over here just to get a zoomed in image and out of these different file options what you need to click on is this high resolution terrain corrected option and directly download it from here. And now you can see that you are presented with this Earth Data login page. So if you haven't created an account with Earth Data, it's best to do that right now. You, you can actually do that quite easily using this register option. So I'm not going to take time to, because I have already created my profile. So once you have created your profile, you can actually enter your username. and also your password. And once you have done that, you can just simply click login over here. And then over here, you get the option to save your file. So I'm just going to save that file. And once you have downloaded, you can see that we have a downloaded file in the format of a zip file. So I'm just going to extract the file directly into my folder. All right, now you can see that inside this folder, you can find a couple of, uh, you can find few files and out of this, this .dem is actually the, the file that you would want to use. So you can simply use your GIS software. In my case, I'm using ArcGIS. So I'm just going to open ArcMap. And I can just directly drag this one and drop it over here. All right, now you can see that we successfully downloaded the DEM. Uh, if you would like to change the color scheme, you can even do that by just clicking over here. Probably you can invert the, the color scheme. And if you would like to access further information regarding this downloaded DEM, you can actually go to the properties. And if you go to source, over here you can see the cell size has been specified to be 12.5 meters by 12.5 meters, along with the coordinate system information. Now you can see that this is actually already in a projected coordinate system. So even if you would want to measure the size of a pixel, you can even do that by yourself. You can just simply zoom in like this. 
until you probably start seeing different pixels and then you can actually just go to the measuring tool and you can simply measure the distance over here and you can see that it's approximately 12.5 meters so that further validates that the resolution of our downloaded DEM is about 12.5 meters so that concludes the tutorial for today if you would like to see more GIS and uh, Python related tutorials don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next one.